I need to analyze our budgets in Power BI. But my data is in a weird format like this. Today, we are going to understand how to use unpivot functionality of Power Query to take this kind of data and turn it into a usable format. Later on, we are going to look at even more complicated data like this and figure out how to unpivot this. Let's go. We'll start by bringing the data. Since my data is an Excel file, I'm going to use import data from Excel option. The navigator shows me all the data, but one of the cool features in Power BI is a suggested table feature, which has figured out my tabular layout. Notice that this is still not good enough for me. So I'm going to take this suggested table, transform it. And once we are in Power Query, I'm going to take the row number one and use it as header. At this point, we can see where the problem is. Each month has its own column. So if I want to do some year to date budget totals or do comparisons at a quarter level or something, I will not be able to do that. So now we are going to use the unpivot functionality of Power Query. The way to think about unpivot is you need to figure out which columns will remain in the final output. So my person column is going to remain in the final output. And for all of this data here, what I want is instead of this many columns, I just want two more columns, one for the month and another for the budget value. So we'll take the person column, right click on it and then say unpivot other columns. This is going to take the structure of my original data, rearrange it into an unpivoted format and give me exactly what I want. At this point, we can right click on this date column and then change the formatting of that. Rename this as budgets and close and apply to bring this data into Power BI. Before we do that, I want to highlight one extra step. Anytime you are promoting a header, Power Query has this annoying habit of applying data type changes. So it adds this change type step. In fact, it has done this already once and now twice. This is a problem because every time change type happens, if you can see the M code here, it assumes that all of these column names exist in your data. This is going to create a problem if and when the files change and some new information comes into there. So I make a point to delete these kind of change data type steps just so that we don't have any dependencies here. This last one is all right because this is us manually changing the data type. Now let's load this into Power BI, but we are not done yet. Remember this, a part of our budget data is maintained in this two level structure where I have for each person, each country, what is their budget. Now this is going to be trickier to unpivot. So let's try to do this with Power Query. Again, we are going to get the data from Excel workbook and point to the sheet where this information is transform data and when you are here let's just delete that change of type step and take this row number one make this as header and now before we can unpivot this we need to make sure that these nulls are filled with the same person as above so we'll select this person column and then go to transform fill down that's it we will get all the names corrected here. This is particularly helpful if you are getting data where either the data has this kind of format or people are using merged cells. Now that this information is there, I can select these two columns, right click and then say unpivot other columns. Remember, every time you are unpivoting, you need to first figure out which columns you want to retain and then make the decision based on that. So now we will have for each person country, what is the date and value. We can rename these columns and set the formatting and finally load this into Power BI. So now my two level budget information is also here. And when I combine that with my actual data, I could do, for example, variance analysis like this or even some forecasts. To understand how to do this kind of stuff with Power BI, watch the video that is shown on the screen. I'll catch you there. Bye.